I've come to Australia because we want to do the blue-eyed, brown-eyed exercise and discrimination, which I've been doing with people all in many, many places for many, many years. So how many of the Blue Eyes know about the 1937 meeting in Canberra that brought in the policies to remove, forcibly remove two Aboriginal children from their families? And you know what it said? It went on to say, and in 50 years' time, we won't have an Aborigines problem. So it was a deliberate breeding out program. And that's what many of us have suffered for all our lives, searching for our families, our identity, and all those sorts of things, that I've been trying to educate non-Indigenous or white Australians to improve things for my people because of my experiences and the impact it has on our, our identity, our whole well-being, and yet you can't even sit and listen and learn in an exercise like today, which epitomises the attitudes and the arrogance and the difficulties that we still have in this country every day. I was 30 years old when I found my mother again. And within weeks, lost her. And she's never been seen it since. I'm a stolen generation, and I work with stolen generations as try and get an apology from this nation for what happened to us. And you know the other thing? While I was growing up in institutions, I never had any of my other siblings, never had a childhood with them. And you know what? They're all still alive today. Got my older sister who's 80. That's what we're dealing with in this country. I never had any of my Aboriginal family at my wedding when I got married, when I graduated from the Royal Adelaide Hospital as a nurse. You can't even sit and listen. And that's what we're up against, is that deafness in this nation. <laughs>